You got that right. It's game five of the NBL Championship Grand Final. We're at High Sense Arena in Melbourne, home of the South Dragons, who take on their crosstown rivals, the Melbourne Tigers, one more time. Either way, we are going to create NBL history tonight. Welcome back to game five. We're just about underway as the Melbourne Tigers get a chance to try and cut down on this 11 point lead of the South Dragons and keep their dreams of winning another NBL title alive. Worthington. Mark Worthington needs to just make sure he keeps control of his emotions. He wants to play hard, but he doesn't want to let these emotions get the better of him. He needs to stay in the game. And pick up those cheap fouls or just start to lose control. And impairs your judgment. Worthington to Darden. South Dragons putting on a team passing clinic. And yet another basket inside the paint. They've only, the uh, Dragons have only taken seven three-pointers. They're three of seven. Contact, no call. Ebby Arras splashes a three, a timely one for the Melbourne Tigers. Gets it back to 10. Arras with good hands. Ingles turned the corner. Darden. Anstey has the block shot, but he got some help. Get another look at Worthington's interior pass to Tremel Darden. Here we see down the other end, Ebi Arap. When you look at the score shot selection of both these teams, there's a foul. Not sure who that foul was on, Steve. I think it was on Ebi Arap. Maybe Dave Barlow. Dave Barlow was the second personal foul. Lead back to 11. Tigers have not had the answers on this end of the floor. Barlow on a good closeout by Mika Vakona. Tigers stand around as Barlow tries to get to the rim. Crosswell keeps it alive. Skip it ahead to Darden. He goes up for the lay-in over Anstey. That's good. This game slipping away from the Melbourne Tigers. Dragging in all facets on the on the offense, both in the transition in the half court game, look far superior. Anstey. Foul is called first before he delivered the pass. Here it goes uh, from one side of the floor to the other. Crosswell gets to the rim. Melbourne Tigers get a bucket and a sigh of relief from the bench. Vakona. Anstey playing way off of him. Worthington puts it on the floor. Ball's knocked away, goes to Barlow. Tigers don't have any numbers. They'll slow it down. They want Anstey. Can't get it to him. Greer, catch and shoot for a three. That's not the one they wanted. It's not the one you want when you're 11 points down. Tommy Greer taking a three-point shot. Poor select, shot selection by Tommy Greer, who's open. Bacona can't get the layup to go. Got a run and start at Anstey. Can't make him pay. Barlow in transition. That's short. The Tigers are not going to get it done, simply coming down and blazing away from the perimeter. To get a foul. Not much argument for him. Maybe he had something that we didn't see on the replay. Nick of Acona, that's double dribble, no call. Barlow gets it to Abby Ara. Barlow will slow it down. Tigers need some movement. Shot clock down to 10. Tommy Greer, that's a better shot, and that's good. In rhythm after dribble penetration. Tommy Greer with a big one. Leads cut down to eight. Tigers have scored the last five. 
Bacona wide open. He takes a little jump shot. That's good. You don't mind standing off him, but when he can make a six foot shot, I mean, at this level, at that range, everyone can, should be able to make those. Leads back to 10. Tigers having to work a lot harder for their buckets. Anstey gets it to Tommy Greer. He loads outside the three point line. Tommy Greer with two straight. Lead at seven. Big bucket. He gets the two. They make the adjustment on the scoreboard. Bacona spins. Greer with a good hustle play. Tommy Greer everywhere. Anstey trying to reel in a pass. A lot of. He's fouled, a lot of attention. Hopefully the foul's called. Barlow catch and shoot for three and rattles out. Loose ball. Good hustle by Darden. He's tripped. Johnson comes back in. Always a juggling act to know when to give the big fella a spell. The Tigers just with a hint of momentum. And they take Chris Anstey out of the game. And there's a foul being called on Dave Barlow. Burston, new 24 second shot clock. Smith, back to Worthington. Puts it on the floor, creates some space. His shot trickles around. Knocked off the rim by Barlow. Crosswell in the open court to Daniel Johnson. He takes the hit. Can't get the score. Daniel Johnson playing some crucial minutes here. He is. He's, he's in the crunch time. And he bailed out Nathan Crosswell then because Nathan Crosswell again left his feet. Solid play. Daniel Johnson just with the line drive. That's what happens when you're nervous. You lose that arc in the shot and you're thinking, please just hit the ring. You're not even thinking about making the basket. Just get it to the ring. He got it to the ring. Tommy Greer with the offensive rebound. Oh, yeah, he wanted that one. He does. He's looking for one. He's feeling it. Heavy uh, going left. 360 in the lanes. No good. Smith loses the handle. Loose ball to Matty Burston. Great hustle by both teams. Showing the desperation and what this game means. Refresh the shot clock. <laughs> My hands in, Tommy. Smith to Darden. Pull up jump shot for three is good. Jamel Darden putting his mark on the game. 16 points now for Darden. Eight already in the third. Five of nine from the field, one of one from the land of plenty. Crosswell with a tough floater falling away. Ebby around the old glass. Takes the hit, a shot is blocked. Worthington gets the loose ball. Kicks it ahead to Smith. Skips it to Adam Gibson for three. Great ball movement by the South Dragons. They're getting a snip of an NBL title. Crucial five minutes. I know there's a whole quarter to come, but right now we'll determine the fate whether this game remains a contest. Crosswell with a pull up jump shots off the mark. Dante Smith with the board. And they continue to own the glass. 28 to 20. The Dragons lead it in the rebounds. Smith. Nice pass to Tramel Darden. Once he gets the handle, he gets fouled. Everything rolling the way of the South Dragons. He caught that clean, it was a dunk. But instead, he gets a three-point play. Lead out to 17. By far the biggest of the match. South Dragons pressure relentless. DT for three, that good, slides in. Shot clock was down to five. Tigers still hanging around. Trying to get this thing in single figures. Backdoor cut for the jam! 
Jamel Darden from Matt Burston. Oh. He goes up stairs with the two hands like his mama taught him. And he flushes it down, but have a look at the height he gets. He's gone right up near the cup. Wow, Chris Hansky. Worthington gets it to Smith in the open court. Bounce pass to Jamel Darden. He's fouled, he'll go to the line, he can do no wrong. It was Dante Smith in the first half. It's Jamel Darden in the second. In tonight. And hasn't he looked athletic? He sure has. Chris four. Anstey, the hero of game four, he's the two of six from the field. And he's only got three rebounds. The Tigers need a hero, and they need to find one quick. Heavy arrive against the new kid on the block, Dante Smith. Anstey. Tries to get to the rim. His left hand layup is good. But this is where the Tigers are struggling against the South Dragons. Can't get any stops. They're looking at his own defense, and straight away, Brian Gordon calls a timeout. They need something to happen. Dante Smith puts it on the floor, going left. That's no good. Offensive rebound, Matt Burston. South Dragons with all the answers. And yet another offensive rebound. That's 10 now for the South Dragons. The Tigers only have five. Kendall shoots the floater. Stephen Hoare keeps it alive, but Mark Worthington collects the rebound. A little over two and a half to go in the third. Smith, shot clock down to five, gets it to Darden, the man of the second half, continues his hot run. We might have to start going to the record books for the most points in a quarter in a grand final. Because Darden's up to 18. Smith. With the rebound, he slows it down and gets it to Gibson. Smith to Adam Gibson. Back to Smith, Darden for another three. That's good! Jamel Darden with 29 points! <laughs> and 21 in the third. 21 points is for the team. Clicking on all cylinders is the import for the South Dragons. Dave Thomas from the corner, that's good. Dave Thomas. Smith. Checking to see if the defense had fallen asleep. Smith has the ball knocked out of bounds by Stephen Hoare. And bringing those fresh bodies to continue the relentless pressure. That's a foul on Chris Anstey on Matty Burston. The time goes on call. Dave Thomas for three. Off the mark. Luke Kendall back to DT. He runs over Reese Carter. That's an obvious charge. Steve, dare I say it? Go ahead and say it. Hard to see the Tigers, the way the they're going back about it. Not a real courageous call when you see a team up by 22 points with a minute to go in the third. <laughs> but remember the biggest comeback in the history, and that's 30 years of history, is 13 at three-quarter time, and that hasn't happened last year when the Sydney Kings came back. Before that, the previous biggest, biggest comeback at three-quarter time was six. Burston with a burst of energy gets past Anstey, can't get the layup to go. Kendall to Anstey for three. That's good. Carter brings it up under the pressure of Luke Kendall.
Tiger shot by Tramel Darden. Burson to Mika Vakona for the land. Too easy. Luke Kendall from three quarter oh. court. Does that count? That'll count. What a shot. That's oh. going to count. Brian Gorgeous desperately trying to get it waved off. Luke Kendall's going to count it. Yeah, it does. Melvin Tigers. That's got something to do with a huge comeback. That'll give them a little bit of momentum. They've got a long way to go. Brian Gorgian wants to check. We'll have a look. Don't know why he's carrying on like he's three points down. He's still got an 18-point lead. Take him back. Take him back. We'll check. Have a look at the replay. Here it is. It's well after the siren. Well after. And the referee's counted it. I don't think it's going to matter, but that might just be that little bit of momentum the Tigers need to cause an absolute miracle. All right, well, what a finish for the third quarter. We'll be back for the fourth right after this.